In this tutorial I will talk about POS in Starcode. There are three options by which you can launch POS. Option number one. In the toolbar you will see this image and if you hover your mouse over it, then it says launch POS. If you click on it, then POS will be launched. Second option. If you click on users button up here, then a drop down menu will be opened and if you click over here, POS will be launched. Third option. You can launch POS by clicking over here. Now, let's talk about how to operate POS. You can add product in sales table by four interfaces. Option number one. In scanner code, you have to enter the output of scanner or the stock code of the product and press enter. The corresponding product will be added in the sales table. Option number two. In products, you have to write the name of the product and press enter. If you press enter, then the name of that product will appear over here. If you click on button add item, then product will be added in the sales table. Option number three. Click on the button enter item code and over here enter the code of your product and press enter. Now, click on add item button. Then product will be added in the sales table. Option number four. Under product buttons heading simply click on the image of product and it will be added in sales table. Option number five. Down here there is a button called search. If you click on it, a window appears and you can double click on an item of your choice. Now click on add item and item will be added to sales table. In discount field, you have to enter the percentage discount that you are offering. In quantity, you have to write the quantity of product that customer wants to buy. In sale price, you have to write the price at which you are selling. In sub quantity, you have to write the amount of sub quantity that the customer is buying. If you want to delete an item from the sales table, then first select the item that you want to delete and click on the button delete item. The corresponding item will be deleted and stock will be adjusted accordingly. The tax shows the total tax of all the products. In total, the total cost after combining the taxes and calculating the discounts is displayed. In paid, you have to write down the amount of money the customer has paid for that particular sale and the due will be calculated by star code accordingly. In type, you have to select one out of seven types of methods by which the customer wishes to pay. If you choose credit card type, then in reference number, you have to write the credit card number. Reference number is optional. Over here, three sections are displayed. Product buttons. Invoice details and pending payments. We will discuss each section one by one. The product button section contains images of products that you can add to sales table. If you click on show all button, then images of all the products will be displayed. You can select which category of images you want to see by clicking on categories button. You can go to the next page by clicking on the button next. Now, let's move towards the section invoice details. Invoice number is added by the software automatically. Sent date is the date at which you send the invoice to your customer. There are three types of payment statuses. Not paid. Partially paid and paid. You can select according to your requirement. Due date is the date till when the customer should pay. You can email the invoice to your customer. You can search an invoice by clicking on this button. You can filter the results by these options. You can save an invoice by clicking on save button. If you click on the button ship to customer address then you have to provide details of the customer such as his name, his address, email, contact. You can write any note that you would like to be printed on the invoice. Now, we move towards the next section called pending payments. Let's think about a scenario where the customer forgets about a particular item that he wants to buy and he suddenly remembers that he has to buy it during transaction process. He goes away to buy that item while other customers are standing in queue waiting. So, instead of making the other customers wait, you can simply add his sale to pending payments and proceed with the rest of the customers. Now, when that customer is back, the payment process can continue. Let's talk about the buttons down here. 
By clicking on this button, you can exit the POS. This button will guide you on the shortcut keys. If you click on the button new, a new sale transaction will be generated. If you click on print, sales invoice will be printed if the POS is in invoice mode. There are two types of printer settings. First one is where the receipt is large sized. Under this setting you have to use desktop sized printer. The other setting is where the receipt is small sized. For this setting, you have to use thermal printer. If you click on PDF, then a PDF of sales invoice will be generated. If you click on pay due button, then the current value of paid amount will be replaced with the due amount and the current sale will be saved and completed. By clicking on the save button, the current invoice will be saved. If you click on the button pay later, then the current sale will be added to pending payment. When the customer is ready to pay, then you can open sale from pending payment section. If you click on the button return, then the system will switch to items return mode. On performing any sale, items will be added back to the inventory and total will be adjusted accordingly. You have to press it again to return to normal sale mode. If you click on search, a window will open and you can select product of your choice by clicking on a row and then clicking on select button. Now, you can add item by clicking on add item button. You can select customer by clicking on this button. You can select from the existing ones or add new customer as well. There are two modes. Invoice mode and receipt mode. The main difference between these two modes is that in the invoice mode, you make an invoice for the customer to make payment whereas in receipt mode you make a receipt for the customer after he has done the payment. We have talked about the invoice mode. Now, let's talk about receipt mode. In both modes, this screen is similar. In receipt mode, instead of invoice details, you will see receipt details. Instead of sent date and due date, you will see timestamp field. In invoice mode, you saw shipping details. But in receipt mode, you will see customer details over here. The rest is same in both modes. If you click on PDF in invoice mode, then an invoice will appear in PDF form. But if you click on this button while in receipt mode then a receipt will appear in PDF form.